Hey, how are you? Welcome to this video. In the previous video, I had created a Vagrant file, which you can use to spin up your virtual machine for Open5.js. And in this video, I will take it a step forward so that we can see the, some of the essential things that we missed in the previous video. That is, first one is the installation of WebGUI. And second, syncing the folders for the Open5.js configuration so that you can directly edit those files from your code editor. So in this video, I will be providing the details of how I have synced these folders and how I have also installed WebGUI. And then we will spin up this Open5.js virtual machine and I will show you how to access this. You can continue with uh, accessing this file from GitHub. And as you can see here, I have added these two sync folders. So the first one is Open5.js config, which would be syncing the folder at C, Open5.js where our, all the YAML files would be stored. The second sync folder is data, which is essentially home vagrant data, where I've stored one of the file, which is open5.js web UI service. So this would be mounted to the directory. Now, if you go to this vagrant file again, I have added a steps to install web GUI, and then I've just done a copy. So this web UI service file is present in this Git repository for which I have added some of the extra configuration in the environment. That is, I've updated the, the IP address on which the web UI is configured. That is 127.0.0.1. All right, I'm, this, I'm in this directory and I will just go to open 5GS Vagrant and I will just do Vagrant Hub. All right, so it's mounting the directories, which I've mentioned. And now you can see our 5G CVM or the 5G C virtual machine is up. Let me just go to my code editor. So in this open 5 js config, I have all the YAML files that are supposed to be here. So if I go to my config again, in Vagrant file, I forwarded the port 30 or 3000 that is used to access the web GUI to host port of 8080. So if I go to my web browser and if I go to 8080, so I can access this and you can see I can use the password, username and password and I can add the subscriber. So I'm accessing my web UI from my host machine and through port forwarding. It is a very simple way to configure those virtual machines and you would be easily able to manage everything. Now, if I want, I can just go to open 5 js config and edit any of the files and this configuration would be updated in my virtual machine. So in the similar way, we will use the same way for UE Nancy that I will talk about in next video. I hope you enjoyed this. And in case this video had some useful information about open 5 js I create content on telecom and DevOps. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for such content. Thanks for watching this and have a great day.